Now we know that an instrument family is grouped by instruments that make their sound in the same way. Percussion instruments, you make the sound by hitting, shaking or scraping the instrument. There are lots of different instruments in the percussion family. I've got some of them here with me today and I'm going to show you how they make their sound and what they sound like. To start off with, we're going to use some of the instruments that you might have seen in the classroom before. So, in front of me, I have a few instruments that you scrape to make the sound. This instrument is called a guiro. Now, there are a couple of different ways to hold the instrument. Most people put their finger and their thumb in the holes and they hold it, and then they can use a mallet or a stick to scrape the instrument. So you can hit the instrument as well, you can tap it with the mallet, or you can scrape it to make that scrapey sound. Another instrument with a way to scrape is this one. Now it's a wood block, but it's also a guiro. So you can scrape it, and you can tap it. You can hear that the smaller half of the instrument makes a higher sound because we know that smaller things make higher sounds. So we've got a wood block, which is also a guiro. Lots of percussion instruments, especially classroom percussion instruments, you hit to make the sound. Some of those are the triangle. So you hold it by the string and you use a metal mallet, stick or beater to tap the triangle. Now, lots of people think that the triangle is a silly instrument and it's not very hard. What's hard about playing the triangle is that if you're in an orchestra, you might have lots of other percussion parts to play. Once I was in a band and I had the triangle part. That was the only thing that I had because there were lots of other percussion players. But I had to count 72 bars of rest before I played my triangle part. And then I had to count another 60 bars of rest before the next bit. You can also, use the mallet to play the triangle like this. That's the triangle. Another one that you hit to make the sound is the wood block. So this one has a handle. Some of our wood blocks don't have handles, but this one does. And we've got a mallet to hit it with. And you can hear again that the smaller half of the wood block makes a higher sound. Another one, these ones you hit together. These are wood blocks or claves. Some people say clays. There's all kinds of different ways to give names to this instrument, but you basically just tap the sticks together. You can hold them like this, but another way is to make a little bridge with your fingers. And you can hear how that changes the sound. Another one, which you might not see in the classroom, but you do tap together to make the sound, is these coconuts. So it is a real coconut that's been opened and cut in half, and all the insides have been taken out so that it can make a nice clean noise. Other instruments that you might see in the classroom, over here, we've got a few instruments that you shake to make the sound. So we've got maracas, which you can also call shakers. You can also tap the maraca into your hand to play it. We've got a couple of different tambourines here. They are still both tambourines, they just make sound a little bit differently because this one has slightly more of these metal rings and it's got a different kind of handle. So you can shake it, and you can tap it. And this one is the same. Over here we've also got some bells. You play them the same way as the tambourine. I also have here a rain stick, which you tip upside down to make the sound. Lots of interesting sounds you can make with that. 
You can also see that we have some other instruments that you will have seen before. These ones, this one is a xylophone, and this one's a glockenspiel because it's got metal bars. I have some mallets which I'll use to play the xylophone. Okay, over here we have some African instruments. Now these instruments we've used when we've been doing African drumming. We've got the shikere. You can shake it or you can scrape it. This one has little shells on the outside rather than on the inside like our maracas over there. This instrument you can wear on your wrist and play it like that. These are kiss kiss shakers. You can shake them to the side or to the front and they make different sounds. It's got this different piece on the front so it makes a different sound when the little beads inside hit it. We also have these of go-go bells. You can see there's a small one and a large one. They're made of metal. Very cool. Over here, we have the dunun. These drums you do hit with six. Now, sometimes these drums are played on their sides or on a stand, but today I'm just going to have them on the floor. that we tip it up. Now usually you sit on a chair, but today I'm just going to play it here. I also have this little baby djembe. Very cute. Now, over here, I have a drum kit. Now this drum kit is a little bit old and it's, it's a bit mismatched, but I'll show you what each part is. This one, this big drum, is called the bass drum. It makes a big bass noise, a low noise. Then we have the toms. You can hear that the smaller one makes a higher noise than the, la the bigger one. We also have the floor tom over here. Medium, water. Small, medium, big. We've got a crash cymbal here. We have the snare drum in here. Now the snare drum on the back has these snares which are little coils of metal and so they make the drum make a different sound. And we've also got the hi-hats over here. 
Here's what the drum kit sounds like when it's played all together. <laughs> untuned percussion. Untuned percussion is any of the instruments that don't make a melodic sound. So we're talking about the tambourines, the shakers, the rain stick, the coconuts, any of the drums or the other shakers. Then you have the tuned percussion. Tuned percussion includes things like the glockenspiels and the xylophones and the marimba. So you can play a tune on these instruments. tune on the bass xylophone. <laughs> could be percussion instruments? Is there something in your house that could be a percussion instrument? Is there a different percussion instrument that you haven't seen, that you've seen before in a movie or a TV show or live in an orchestra or when seeing a band? Let me know. 